eminent criminologist Professor Edwin Sutherland in 1941 first time coined the word white collar crime which means a crime committed by persons of respectability and high social status in course of their occupation the offenses includes fraudulent advertisements infringements of patents publication of falsified balance sheet of business passing of goods concealments of defects in the commodities for sale etc the first thing which needs to be understand related to white collar crime is that there is no direct injury but there is an indirect injury the indirect injury is more harmful and damaging in nature because it is not harming only a single person but public at large and the country as well second thing which is important to understand is usually these type of crime are committed by the person who are in a respectable position in the society and they commit these type of crime during the course of their occupation this during the course of occupation is a very important point that needs to be understand clearly white collar crime are those offenses which has affected almost every area some of the white collar crimes are hoarding profiting black marketing violation of foreign exchange regulation and import and export laws bank frauds blackmail bribery cellular phone fraud computer fraud counterfeiting credit card fraud currency schemes embellishment environmental scheme extortion fake employment placement rackets forgery healthcare fraud insider trading insurance fraud investment scheme money laundering racketing security fraud tax evasion telemarketing fraud welfare fraud weight and measures fraud and there are n numbers of other frauds let's discuss some of the white collar crimes in various profession the examples of white collar crime under medical professions are issue of false medical certificate false post mortem reports commission from supplier and medicines medicines and other equipment supplied to government hospitals are sold to private hospitals sex determination illegal abortion false evidence in criminal cases extortion of money from patient in government hospital organ trafficking fake and misleading advertisement claiming medical cure cosmetic etc prescribing medicine for which he does not possess adequate qualification conducting operation for when the doctor does not possess a qualified degree providing secret services to criminals and decoits the next profession is education large sum of money is collected in the name of donation in government school and colleges money is collected as a fees for the seat corruption and favoritism at the time of admission and exams exploitation and victimization of students in the name of internal marks insisting students for the private coaching false practices like using fictitious documents to the fake details in order to obtain grants from government to run their institutions appointment of teachers and other staffs in a very low wages next profession is engineering in this the corruption related to dealing with contracts and suppliers passing of substandard works and materials construction of building roads canals dam bridge with substandard material computer related crimes like theft of communication services tax evasion right to privacy etc then cyber crime by highly talented engineers etc the next profession is legal profession in this fabricating of false evidences engaging professional witnesses violating ethical standard of legal profession ignorance of fundamental rights manipulation at the time of judgment etc apart from this corruption is everywhere in the name of white collar crime no matter they are bureaucrats they are police they are politicians there are several reason behind white collar crime some of them are it is basically out of greed the people who usually commit these crime are financially secure but still they are having a greed to earn more and more money second thing is financial or physical duress this is due to the booming economic 
and technological advancement such as the internet and fast money transfer system. Law enforcement is sometimes reluctant to pursue these cases because they are so hard to track and investigate. It is also very difficult to detect these criminals because these type of crimes are committed in privacy of an office or home and usually there is no eyewitness. Now the question arises that if we are having a specific legislation to trace out white collar criminality then why those offenders are not punished. So there are many reasons that legislators and law implementers belong to the same group or class to which these occupational crime belong. Then secondly less police effort, then favorable laws, then less impact on individuals. And there are many more things which needs to be sought, which needs to be flag on. That's all about the introduction to white color crime. I hope you like the video and if you like it, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. And please do comment so that I get motivated and make more such videos. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. Take care.